find and kill assigned targets. Avoid being killed by other Templars. What's up guys, I'm the Aussie Gamer and I fucking love video games. As you can see, today we're playing some more Assassin's Creed Revelations, but this time we're not playing it live. Why? Because when I did my live commentary before, I found that I was too busy concentrating on what I was saying to you guys, and therefore not really concentrating on the game. That's not to say that I won't be doing any more Assassin's Creed Revelations live commentaries, I just thought I'd try something a little bit different. And with that, I hope you enjoy! So as you can see, this white coat wearing sentinel is my first target. And because he's just killed his first target, he's given away his position. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I got the first kill of the- <laughs> First the worst, second the best, fuckface. And now that we've taken care of the Sentinel, we'll just linger here for a moment and wait for the next target to be assigned to us, all the while being cautious of our lurking pursuer. Okay, so we can see that the Vanguard is our next assigned target. But before we go for her, I want to be sure our pursuer isn't breathing down our neck. What about this Deacon? Hmm, no. Fuck! I know they're around here somewhere, but where? Aha! Oh! Take that, you evil thespian bitch! Okay, so now with our pursuer dealt with, we're free to go after our target. And I have a hunch that it's that woman over there moving toward that crowd of people. And seeing as though her portrait is brightly illuminated, meaning she's in my line of sight, I'm almost certain. So, there's only one thing to do. Greetings, bitch! Ah, bugger! She attempted to stun me and thus the kill was contested, meaning I get less points and am momentarily disoriented. Anyway, as you can see, my target once again is that pesky sentinel, and yes, he's somewhere around here. But I think we'll hang here for a moment to observe the area and make sure we kill the right person. Hello, sentinel. Throwing that smoke bomb has allowed me to confirm him as our target, so let's make our way into this shaded area. Ah, two sentinels on the bench. I wonder which is our target. This one. We meet again. No! Let go of- ah! Now I suppose you're wondering how I knew that. Well, let's jump back for a second. As I was moving into the shaded area, I noticed that a sentinel appeared out of thin air on the right hand side of the bench. Clearly the sentinel had used his decoy ability, but unlucky for him, I noticed it and stomped his fucking face in. Jumping back to where we left off, we can see that our target is now the Vanguard, but also that we have two people gunning for us. Therefore, we'll need to be careful as one wrong move, and we'll be dead. Having just respawned, we can see that our target is now the Trickster, or as I've referred to her before, the blue coat wearing bitch with the headband. Here you'll witness a massive fail, as I have no idea where this woman is, spot what appears to be her on the bench, and straight up murder an NPC, losing my target. So now I'm in second place, have two pursuers on the hunt for me, and have been assigned to kill the Renegade, who appears to be somewhere around this area. What we're going to do now is blend in with this crowd of people and try to spot our target whilst avoiding our pursuers, who I'm sure are also somewhere around here. Oh, shit! Whoa! It's time to die! Oh, better luck next time, fuckhead. Ha <laughs> ha! Looks like I'm untouchable. Hey, what the? Well, it appears, ladies and gentlemen, that I've been... E poisoned. Respawning once again, we can see that our target is in fact the Sentinel once again. So we'll make our way through this tunnel, into this haystack, out of this haystack, and climb up this wall onto the walkway above. Here we can see a trio of Sentinels, and one of them is our target, and to be honest, I don't have a fucking clue as to which one it is. So let's take a guess and pick the one on the left. Damn it! Oh, no shit! Oh, oh, just to... Uh, just... Just give me a minute. Ugh. Okay. Nice one, buddy. Why, thank you. Well, I'm off to kill the Deacon. Good luck. Take it easy, mate. Anywho, as I just said, we're now after the Deacon, who I suspect is chilling somewhere in the courtyard below. So we'll make our way down these steps and keep our eyes peeled for anything out of the ordinary. Ah, two Deacons. I wonder if one of these is our target. I'm sure running won't attract too much attention. <laughs> Wrong. Now that he's been taken care of, our next target is that thespian bitch that tried to kill us before. And we're fucked. Okay guys, so we're alive and good to go, and our target once again is the unlucky Deacon. So we're going to immediately exit this tunnel and drop down into the courtyard where we just witnessed him murder somebody so we know he's the real deal. Now we'll just tail him as he walks toward this crowd of people and take him out. Yes, I think I should be safe. Ah! Take that, you stupid D-cunt! And now we'll just use the steps to exit the courtyard just in case our pursuer has made his or her way there. 
Here we can see our next target is the thespian woman from the beginning of the game and it appears that she's nearby, likely down in the courtyard. So we'll make our way back down there. God damn it Sentinel, I am so sick of your fucking decoys! <clears throat> Anyway, as we approach the bottom of the steps, we'll lock onto our acquired target and take her out. Oh, bitch! Why did I use the throwing knives here, ladies and gentlemen? Fuck knows. Probably because I'm an idiot. Oh look, a disguise change. Obvious pursuer right there. Ha! With this disguise, he won't suspect a thing! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, you stupid son of a- <laughs> Oh, poo! Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are alive and well and have been assigned to kill none other than our dearest friend, Mr. Sentinel. So we'll make our way yet again through this tunnel and take note of the obvious disguise change of our now known pursuer. I wonder if he saw me change my disguise. I certainly did. And now we'll drop down into the courtyard and approach this pack of fucking sentinels. Once again, I'm unsure as to which one is the real one, so we'll- <laughs> 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 oh, 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 fuck. Ugh. Got me again, mate. Ah, oh, sure did. You and your bloody clones. <laughs> they're annoying, aren't they? You're damn right they're annoying. Catch you later, buddy. <laughs> hey, look. They worked again. Anyway, now we can see that our new target is the Renegade, and he appears to be nearby. So we'll jump up onto this walkway, as I suspect that he may be up here somewhere, before moving towards this group of people to blend in and take in our surroundings. Hey, what the? Well guys, we walked right into that one and that was a situation where the knives would have come in very, very handy. Oh well, next time. So for now, we'll take our 100 honourable death points and welcome the sweet embrace of death. Fuck the sweet embrace of death. We're in first place with a minute and a half left on the clock and we want to secure that lead by murdering the poor deacon once again. So here we are in the courtyard and it just so happens that the deacon is nearby. Here we see two deacons having a chat to our left but I'm not 100% convinced that either of them are who we're looking for. So we'll casually make our way up the steps to remain incognito while keeping the camera on the courtyard. And there we go, the real deacon. Let's get him. Oh, I don't think so, Deekhead. They ought to slow you down. Now down to business. Take some Nurofen for that headache, mate. Oh shit, is that a pursuer? No. That was a pursuer. Respawning now for the last time, ladies and gentlemen. We have 30 seconds to go and our final target to secure the win is none other than our best friend, the Sentinel. So let's see if we can track him down before the time runs out. As we exit the tunnel and turn to the left, we can of course see two sentinels. Big fucking surprise. But we can also see a dead body at the feet of the one on the left, confirming that one as the real target. So let's go and take him out. Decoys don't fail me now. <laughs> Your decoys couldn't save you this time, mate. So as the last ounce of life ebbs away from our good friend the Sentinel, we'll pause here for the last closing seconds of the game, keeping the camera on a swivel, and close out the game in first place. And that concludes today's Assassin's Creed Revelations multiplayer commentary. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed yourselves as much as I did. Of course, be sure to let me know if you'd like to see this series continue, and as always, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.